This is the most insane amount of battery in such a tiny form factor. Let's check it out. Udi NAB 2024. I'm here at DIY Photography at the Small Rig booth. And Caleb, everybody knows you as the YouTube guy. Right. Now you're doing batteries. Tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, so Small Rig reached out and we um, worked together on this. It's a 212 watt hour battery. Um, and I'm really stoked because it's uh, a little larger than your typical 99 that have become very popular. It's about an inch taller, a hair under that. Um, but the amount of power out of this is nuts. It's more than double. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So it's a dual 140 watt USB-C connections. That means you could power two and edit off of two laptops simultaneously or really anything. Batteries, cameras, uh, laptops. Lights. Lights. I had uh, I did a video on this and I loaded it up with I think 12 different devices and I still had 50 watts of extra power left. And there's all that's calculated on the screen. So it tells you, hey, you're good to go for two hours with this setup. So, so will it give you time or capacity yep. left? Or what, what, what stuff do you get? You want. So uh, it takes two hours to charge. But when you connect everything on the screen, it shows each output, what the wattage, voltage, and your total runtime. So if you have the same laptop, light, and camera, it'll tell you, OK, at this output, what it's drawing currently, you've got two hours or whatever it is. Oh, nice. This is actually enough to run two 100 watts uh, light setup out of a single battery, which I think is amazing. Two, two 140 watt output. So your total is 212. Um, and then uh, on the BP connection, so the V mount connection, you've got 19 amps, which is a ton of current. Uh, the next best thing that is available is usually around 14. So another five amps of juice. So a lot of devices all at once. And then how do you charge the battery? Does it go in via V-mount, D-tap? Right. How, how does it work? Anything. You can go D-tap in. There's two D-taps, on one on each side. You can go through a traditional V-mount charger. Or my favorite is just leave all that big bulky stuff at home and then uh, bust out your MacBook uh, charger for your laptop. And in two hours, you're back in business from 0 to 100. And power out, what kind of options do you have here? Yeah, so you have the two D-taps, you've got the BP mount, and then on the top here, there's a uh, locking connector, and then you, or a, a, a battery cover rather, and then you've got those dual USB-C connections. Both can be fully maxed at the same time for 140 watts. A USB type A for older devices, and then you also have an eight and five volt. So, so those are just DC jacks. Yeah, and that's the other thing, it's a Swiss Army knife. It's like the ultimate power splitter because anything can be plugged into these, which is awesome. So you don't have to, oh, I need the dongle to adapt this. It's just, it's all built in. That, that looks like an amazing battery. Uh, how much does it cost? So it is going to go for $439, which is $100 cheaper than the uh, 99 watts. So you could buy two of those 99s, but you're gonna spend more than this, and this has more power, more output, charges faster. And right now, if you go to Amazon and b and um, Small Rig is offering a V-mount battery plate that they'll send along with the battery if you purchase it in the first couple of days. So, so this is already available to purchase? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, it should be on b and Amazon, Adorama, all the big, big places. So. Caleb, thank you so much for Absolutely. this walkthrough. Thank you for covering the battery, yeah. And uh, 212 watt powers, yeah. this is crazy. It comes in a box with this guy's big bald face. Oh, there you so, go. if you're into hat that, hat on or hat off? Yep, hat off. Yeah. There you go. Stick around, we're gonna keep walking the floor, giving you more gear and news coverage. Stay tuned. <laughs>